Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to see how to solve the GeForce Experience application launch problem. Whenever you try to open the GeForce Experience, you may have come across a message similar to this that is try rebooting your PC and then launch GeForce Experience with the error code 0x003 or in some cases the error code could be 0x001 regardless of this error code in most of the cases the error message has always been the same so to overcome this problem first we have to find out what are the nvidia services that are running in the background to do that hold on windows key on your keyboard and then press r to bring up the run application here in the open text box type services.msc and click on OK to open the services window. Go all the way down and find the NVIDIA services. Here you have four services that belong to NVIDIA. Right click on each of these NVIDIA services. Then click on properties. Then click on logon tab and make sure you select local system account and put a tick mark before the line allow service to interact with desktop. After doing that, click on Apply, click on OK. Do the same for all the remaining NVIDIA services. Then close the services window. Then come to uh, Windows Start menu, right click on it and select Windows PowerShell with administrator rights. Type the following command. NetSH will stop reset and then press enter. So by doing this, you are removing any hindrance or obstacle that may prevent some of your applications from connecting to the internet. In this case, GeForce Experience application is having some problem connecting to the internet. That's why it keeps throwing this particular message. Keep in mind, even if you install the latest version of GeForce Experience application, or even if you clean install the NVIDIA GeForce drivers for your a video call this particular error will not go away so after typing this particular command you have to restart the computer so let's exit the powershell go to start and you restart the pc as i have already done this right away show you how the geforce experience application works right now so as you can see I'm not getting that annoying error message anymore. My GeForce Experience application is working fine. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.